Hi y'all. In today's video, we're going to be setting up uh, YouTube Kids and Google Play Store onto your Fire Tablet Kids Profile. For this, you will need access to a PC running Windows or Linux, uh, not Mac. There is a way to do this with Mac. I just don't know how to do it as well as it's a lot more cumbersome and this is a lot more straightforward. You will need your tablet and a USB cable to plug it into your computer. And we're gonna be downloading something from a website, a trusted website, but of course do your due diligence and look into it yourself before you start downloading things. Um, but yeah, we'll get into it and I'll show you the steps I did to get uh, Google Play Store and YouTube Kids over onto the child profile. First, you would have to have downloaded already onto the parent profile. So if you have not done that yet, please head over to my other video and uh, get that set up. So what we're gonna do is go down to device options here. We're gonna go down to about Fire Tablet. Down here on the bottom and you're gonna look for your serial number. You're going to click on your serial number about seven times. Mine already says it, but once you get past the seventh time, you will see this sign below where it says, no need, you're already a developer. Now, if we hit back, you will now see the developer options button here. You're gonna go press on it. We're not gonna mess with too many things here. We're just gonna go down to debugging, USB debugging. If it's off, toggle it on and now hit okay. I forgot to mention that we will be needing an alpha, um, I'm sorry, an app launcher. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna be downloading alpha launcher. So I'm gonna head over to my app store and you can use any launcher you like. This one's free. I've look in, looked into it and is the simplest one to use. You're gonna type an alpha launcher in your app store on the parent profile, of course. At the time of this video, it is free. It is this first one here that looks like a sailboat and we're going to download it. Again, there are a lot of other app launchers out there. You can do your homework on it, download the one you prefer, but I've liked alpha launcher so far, I can customize it and remove certain things. And I will be showing you how to how I set up mine in another video. So we're just gonna hit the download button now. Wait for it to download. And go back to our home screen. We're also going to, I just wanna show you, I'm gonna go back to my files and show you the APKs that we've downloaded. Of course, again, you would have had to have downloaded uh, Google Play Store and YouTube Kids already. So these are my APKs here. These are the files I'm going to need uh, to enter into the Fire Toolbox. Okay, so I've confirmed I have them. And now I'm gonna head over to the website. The website is xdaforms.com. I will link the direct link in the description, the URL in the description. Uh, but this is subject to change as they update. They do update frequently. Uh, my Fire Tablet is a Fire Tablet Eight, version 12 so this may not work on everyone's tablet and we're going to be using adb shell if we scroll down we're going to see uh features this says that some features are restricted even for mine but i was able to successfully install google play store and youtube kids on my child profile so we're just going to download sorry i just had to do a quick refresh Again, this link will be in the description. We're gonna hit download and we're gonna wait for it to download. Once it is downloaded, we're going to just open up the window where the downloads happen. We're gonna find this folder here and it's a zip file for us to extract. You can open it however you choose to open it. I just double click on it and I just choose the first option and hit okay. We're gonna find the uh, downloader here, link, and we're gonna extract all. Hit extract all, everything's fine here. I, I'm going to hit extract. You can change the location if you like, I'm not. It will download and then it will open up here. I will say at this point, if you do not see it, you can restart your computer or wait a few minutes. Uh, I've had to do this on two different computers for that same reason. Once you have the file though, if you've located it, you can just double click and open Fire Toolbox at this time. And it's just gonna go through its initial setup for the first time. Uh, on these, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Fire Toolbox is pretty straightforward. I'm gonna go ahead and open this now. 
Oh, and I realized I do not have my Fire Tablet plugged in and I will get this message, no device was detected. I'm gonna go ahead now and plug in my Fire Tablet into my computer. I'm going to get this allow USB debugging message. I'm going to allow for it. And before we continue uh, on Fire Toolbox, I wanna switch over now from the parent profile to the kid profile while my tablet is still plugged into my computer. Do not unplug it. We're going to switch over now and just wait until we're now done with the rest of the Fire Toolbox process. We're now gonna head back over to our desktop and open up Fire Toolbox. We're gonna go through the start tour you don't have to, you can just exit out of it, but we're gonna start the tour. And you guys are more than welcome to read through everything. I'm just gonna click through it. Okay, okay. And we're all set up. Once you get this pop again, you can just close it out. You can read through it. No, we're okay. You can hit no here. And now we have what we need. So again, Fire Toolbox has a lot of features, a lot of options for you to do. I'm not going to get into them. There are tons of other videos out there for you. We're just going to focus on the ADB shell. This is what communicates with the Fire Tablet and allows you to share the files from your parent profile over to your kid profile. So on this first line here, we're going to enter in these commands, I will pop them up on the screen somewhere here so you guys can read along, as well as have them in the description. So we're gonna go ahead and start, and we're gonna just type in the same commands over with the file names of the APKs that we originally saw over in the parent profile before we started this process. So we're just gonna, oops, sorry, clicked off of it. Let me just grab ADB shell again. I'll move this window here. Sorry about that. I'm gonna go back to my ADB shell. So here we're gonna plug in CMD space package space install slash existing space com dot google dot android dot gsf dot login. Sorry. Hit enter and you're gonna get this message below. You're gonna see that it went to user 10. User 10 is actually your kid profile. We're gonna now go in and type in the next one, CMD space package space install slash existing. Sorry, dash or hyphen existing. And our other APK file is com dot google dot android dot gsf I'm gonna hit enter again and again we got the same message the package uh, was installed again now we're gonna move on to the next one cmd space package space install dash existing and we're gonna do com dot google dot android dot gms oh sorry gms enter another one cmd package install dash existing com dot android dot vending now remember this is information we already have. It's the APK file name that you've already downloaded. Enter. And so that we don't have to download or install uh, YouTube Kids, we're just gonna transfer it over now. CMD package install dash existing. You could skip this process if you like and just download it on the Play Store in the kids profile, but we're already here, so let's just do it. CMD package install, oh, sorry, 
package dot exist space dash existing I'm trying to do too many things here space now we're going to do com dot google dot android dot apps dot youtube dot kids and hit enter and that's pretty much it we are done here you don't have to worry if you messed up uh, you just got like a little small error message but for the most part we've installed all the packages so that means once we switch over we will find everything remember user 10 is your kid profile so they're all assigned different users uh, i believe it's zero or one would be the parent profile and 10 would be the kid profile if you had another kid profile set up or a different profile that also would be displayed uh it would say either 11 or 20 or whatever increments that they use here but for the most part we are done here we can close out adb shell we can close out fire toolbox and we can now move over to the kids profile fire tablet once it's here what we're going to do now is access google play store and youtube kids via the alpha launcher that we downloaded click your top right hand corner there we're going to go to manage content and we're going to go from shared from your library because we downloaded it already and it's an official app so it will allow us to share it enter in your code and we're going to just go find the apps go to parents.amazon.ca and we're going to hit the settings cog up here on the top right go to add content go to apps and look for alpha launchers mine is right here i'm going to toggle it on and now i'm going to press home screen give it a second or two for it to refresh and there we have it alpha launcher so the only thing with this is for us to access youtube kids your kid would always have to go into the alpha launcher alpha launcher first and then they will be able to find youtube kids there it is already there because we've already set it up side loaded it uh, this is Alpha Launcher. You can access many things. You have your Play Store here as well. I'm already logged in because my credentials were logged in from before. And we can download apps here. I will say though, downloading apps, some may work, some may not work. I'll open up YouTube Kids so you can see it's working. I did try Booba. Booba was not able to download, but I was able to download Toka Boca. Let's play... Uh, video here so you guys can see it's all working and it's working so in my next video i will show you how uh, i set up um, alpha launcher so that way when my kid opens it it youtube kids is the only app that you can see hit back oh sorry i'm a little too fast for it let me just go home hit the alpha launcher and we can see youtube kids in my other video you will see how i set up alpha launcher so when my kid opens it up it's the only app they see Thanks for watching all. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope this was helpful for you. Write down in the comments below, below what Fire Tablet you have and the month and the year that you've tried this video out to see if it's still working by the time you get to it. If not, I'll find other workarounds and, and try to update the video if possible. Thanks again. Take care, everyone.